Hello everyone, welcome to the very first episode of Batch with B. That's me, I'm B. My name is Brady. Um, this is my very first YouTube video, but I recently became obsessed with The Bachelor, The Bachelorette, all of the, the entire franchise, and I decided that this season um, I was going to do some reviews. So let's go ahead and dive into it. You don't need an introduction of me, really. Um, hopefully you'll be seeing me every week. So I have some notes on my phone from the episode last night. Um, so if you see me looking at my phone, that's why. Just in case I forget something. Um, but let's go. First of all, before I talk about anybody, Victoria P is my favorite, period. I am a pageant person, so I loved her at Miss USA. Um, she's killer. Her wardrobe has been my favorite so far. Um, I thought her welcome video was super cute, like her video that she got. They did those like five videos at the beginning, which I think is weird that there's only a few girls that get those and not all of them, but whatever, I'm not a producer. But hers was super sweet, the tears, getting to hear her a little bit about her story, I really liked. Um, when she meets Peter, it was super cute. Um, I think she's one of the prettiest girls too. Um, and she just seems genuine. Like when she went to steal and she was like, I feel bad, I believe her. Um, there are some people who I know would have tried to say that and it would not have, I would not have believed them at all. Um, so I'm really into Victoria P. Um, I am intrigued though because her and Alea obviously know each other outside of this. They both just competed at Miss USA um, in May. And they've hung out outside of that too, I believe. I'm pretty sure I saw that they took like a Vegas trip or something. I followed Victoria for a long time and Alea as well. Um, so I'm intrigued because it doesn't seem like on the show that they know each other. And maybe that's because something else happens later or we get into it in a later episode. This first episode was really cram packed with stuff. Um, three hours long. Mary. Too long. But did I watch the whole thing? Yes. So I am intrigued of why we didn't get to see that kind of, I don't know, part of me wishes that there were cameras in the limos um, for the girls meeting each other or whatnot, because it looked like that they were all in the same limo. Maybe not, I don't really know, but that's one of the things that I am intrigued about for later in the season is Alea and Victoria to see if it ever comes out that they're friends, that they knew each other and whatnot. There are so many pageant girls this season. There's both of them, um, Hannah Ann, which she was extra this episode. Extra. I think she's super cute. She seems like she's really fun, but also, for me, whenever they go to steal somebody, I feel like it's usually because they're trying to make a connection. She clearly, from the jump, had one of the strongest connections and still felt the need to keep stealing Peter, which I thought was weird. Um, and kind of turned me off from her, but then she got the first impression of it, so I guess it worked, but I was pretty turned off by her this episode, um, but she used to compete in pageants, I'm pretty sure she did Miss Tennessee USA, and yeah, I think she might have been a teen, but I don't know that for sure, um, and then I think Marissa was one of the other ones who was, like, Montana USA, Teen USA, um, something like that, and then Kelsey Weir, Weir, I don't know how to say her last name, but she was Miss Iowa USA in 2017, I believe, or 20, yeah, 2017. Um, so there's a lot of pageant stuff going on, and I think it's really interesting um, after we had all the pageant stuff with Kaylin and Hannah B last year. But um, I'm intrigued to see where it goes this year. So far, Victoria P is by far my favorite. Um, let's talk about the rest of the girls when they met Peter. First of all, who brings a cow to The Bachelor? She brought a cow. I remember the cow's name, and I don't even remember her name. Ashley P. I remember the cow. I'll never forget the cow's name. But that is the first rule. Well, not probably not the first rule. One of the biggest rules in show business, don't let somebody else show you up. She brought the cow and got shown up by the cow. Yeah, mm, whatever. Kudos to her, I guess. People are talking about it. Um... These girls seemed wasted during the, like, the cocktail. And I, I don't know if they were just crying and they're just an emotional group, but I felt like these girls were trashed. 
Um, I was over the crying, though. There was too many tears. Victoria F. cried a lot, and I felt like for no reason. She was one of the prettiest ones, like, absolutely gorgeous. And I, I don't know. I it, it was just weird to me. I don't really understand why she was crying. Um, I'm going to say her name wrong. I think it was Sheehan. Sheehan or Cheyenne. Um, beautiful girl. She had the, like, the hair to the, she had her hair to the side. Um, short. Um, super cute. But she too was just so whiny, and I get it. But you, you, you can't possibly go in and day one expect everything to go perfect. And I guess it does happen for some people, but you can't expect that. You're gonna have to have a little bit of, you know, something built up inside you that's like, okay, blinders on, let's go. Who said blinders on? I think Alea said that at one point in the episode, whenever they were making out. But anyway, let's talk about Lauren. Oh my god. First of all, this is your first time, when you get out of the limo or the whatever you come in on, you better look the best you've ever looked in your life. This is a first impression. Even if it was for a job, you're gonna look the best you've ever looked for that job, you know? So when I see, there, I feel like there were so many dresses that were like Fashion Nova or those weird like foreign sites that pop up on your Facebook that are like, buy our couture dresses and it's $99 and you buy it anyway and it comes in looking terrible. That's what I felt like half of this wardrobe was. And that for me was a turnoff. But Lauren, oh mama, she came in. First of all, that ponytail snatched. She looked so good. She's so beautiful. If not one of the most beautiful girls, I would probably put her up there in top three. And that black lace jumpsuit that also had like the stoning in it, it was gorgeous. It was my favorite outfit of the night. Um, yeah, she killed it. I was super pumped to see her. I think she will go far. Um, she's beautiful. She seemed really fun too and um, outgoing. She didn't seem to really have any attitude either. Like I was impressed. Um, her demeanor was my favorite of probably all the girls. The only thing is I wanted to see a little bit more like extra personality. I just want to see more personality, really. Um, but it's hard. They didn't, not all the girls we got to see too much of this episode, so I don't think that's her fault. But I'm excited to see more of her because right now, her and Victoria P are my two favorites, I would say. Um, I also really liked Madison. And when they played her, she got one of those videos at the beginning, too, um, where she was talking about her dad was her coach and she won four state championships. One, I was already like, you know what? Guys, like, love that sports girl stuff whatever. Um, so I figured she was going to do well. And she's gorgeous. Like drop dead, beautiful, but like all American girl beautiful. Um, I, she didn't really have much like sex appeal, but she was just like stunning. Whereas I felt like like Victoria P had a little bit of sex appeal too. Um, and I like that personally, but um, I was impressed with Madison a lot. And then when she got the first date, I was like, okay, first one-on-one, -on -one, like, good for her. I'm not shocked. I was into her, so, like, it works. And he took her to meet his family. Y'all, I wasn't ready. I did not expect that at all, especially, especially from Peter. And I don't know, but it just looked like so much fun. She had so much fun. His family seemed so fun. The renewing of the vows was adorable, like absolutely cute. Peter being the ordained minister was funny. It was a great little, you know, TV moment. I loved it. Um, and everything seemed so genuine with Madison. She seems very easygoing and just like, I'm going to go with the flow. I'm here to have a good time. Not so much as like, I have to win Colton. His name's not Colton. Peter. Y'all know what I was talking about. But I liked her. I felt like she was very fresh. Um... And she seemed really fun. Let's talk about Miss Kelly. She, I cannot believe how confident she is. Um, because it's, I, she just came in and was like, I'm here, we've met before. Um, I know you remember me. Like, it was really, really cute in a way that he remembered her. Um, however, if I was one of the other girls, I would have been shitting my pants. And as you saw on some of their faces, they were shitting their pants <laughs> or dresses. But, because none of them pulled pants off, like, Lauren, shout out to you, Lauren, that was a look, that was a look. But, it was cool, it was cool to see that they already had a spark, in a way, um, but also, I don't know, it kind of makes it less fun, because, like, you can see how strong of a connection they have, um, 
so I have a pretty good feeling she's going to go pretty far, um, if not till the end. Um, but vice versa, on the flip side of that, it's cool that maybe it isn't just going to be, you know, girls that are here for following. Like, she clearly has something for Peter before the show, which is kind of refreshing to see also. So um, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed her. I did. I was really annoyed in the group date how she cheated. But at the same time, like, if it was that big of a deal, producers wouldn't have let her go on the thing, you know? Like, it was good TV, and um, I feel like she kind of made a smart move by cheating because, okay, if they don't let her win the date, fine. She still was there, you know? She already has the connection, so why not do whatever she can to get more? I kind of get that, in a way. Um, but it kind of reminds me of that stuff that Hannah Ann was doing, and I wasn't a fan of it. I don't know, maybe I just don't like Hannah Ann and I like Kelly. I don't know. But... I think those were definitely all of my standouts. The first group date, oh my god. First of all, I did not like that everyone was sitting with another girl, and then Hannah Ann is sitting with Peter. I didn't like that. But she showed all the other girls up in the answers, so I guess she earned it, like whatever. But it was really cool. I liked it. I love that he brought out the two um, female pilots that were very accomplished. I thought that was neat, um, really cool, and he acknowledged them, and I felt like they kind of got a moment to shine, and I thought that was really dope. But other than that, um, I didn't really feel like I got to see much of the first date. Like, I felt like there could have definitely been more, but we tried to cram everything into this episode, so we didn't get, like, to see much of the date. But that's fine. I would have been so jealous of Kelly getting to ride in the plane with him at sunset, like, how dreamy peter is so dreamy already and getting to fly with him would have been like so cool and romantic um i was a little shocked whenever oh can we talk about whenever he was talking to victoria after the group date like not a one-on-one -on -one date but like they had the little one-on-one -on -one moment and he got her the flowers y'all my heart melted i thought he was going to get the the date rose though and I was like oh my god that's the first flower like that's their moment and then he did it. he just picked him off the wall and then I was like well wait 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 maybe when they go back in there he'll be like add this to your bouquet or something but he didn't he let me down in that part but I do think that him and Kelly had a strong connection so it makes sense that she got the group date rose and she won quote unquote um I did like how the girls called her out though they didn't just let it slide they were like hey you cheated and she was just kind of like okay Sorry, um, it obviously wasn't that big of a deal or I wouldn't have still won. So that was cool. I enjoyed the first date. The one-on-one -on -one we already talked about I thought was so much fun. It looked like a blast. I feel like him and Madison clicked really well. Madison really connected with his family, which I thought was neat. Um, especially on a first date, you've known each other for a day, you get to meet his family. Like That's pretty cool. Um, and I think it it's, I feel like it should be very telling of the future in a way like if they could connect that fast and his family liked her clearly liked her um I feel like that's a good sign for her and I hope she goes far because they seem to have a good connection okay now this second date one I don't really know what it is so that's a bummer I guess that's how we'll start the next episode is more of Hannah B who I'm just tired of seeing at this point and my heart was breaking for Peter when he was like, I saw you asked Colton. Why do I keep saying Colton? Clearly y'all know who I like. <laughs> but I saw that you asked Tyler out and did you ever think of me? And that broke my heart because, and what I didn't think was fair about it is whenever she came back at, or she came at him after that and was like, Tyler was reaching out, you didn't. Of course not. You chose two other people over him, got your heart broke. Like, he thinks you don't want him. You have to mend that, Hannah. That is not for Peter to do. So, whatever. But, I'm trying to let bygones be, be... Well, obviously I can't speak. I'm trying to let bygones be bygones. And it was nice to see raw emotion from Hannah when it came to Peter because I think the entire... Bachelor Nation was shocked when Peter didn't make it into the two. Um, I think we were all shocked whenever she called Judd first, really. But Peter not being in the top two for her, like, I know it broke him. The only thing that sucks is I feel like had she not shown up on night one or this second group date, 
maybe he'd be in a better headspace for the girls. So I am curious to see how it plays out. Is she going to stay? They showed that little clip of Kelsey and she was like, if you stay, just know like there are going to be repercussions of this. And it, we, it doesn't show who she's talking to, but I feel like it was Hannah. So I'm wondering if there's like a discussion during like the cocktail party, if she's like, I think I'm going to stay. And then they're like, no, ma'am, you got to stick up. I don't know, but I feel like Hannah is on here a little too much already. Um, but that's okay. I guess we'll figure out what happens next week. I am ready to see the second date, though. Like, I'm ready to see all these girls. I'm kind of over Peter and Hannah together. Um, so either she comes back, plays the game, or goes away. I guess it's not a game. Comes back, lives in the house like everybody else, fights for Peter's heart like everybody else. So be it. But if not, like, let's move on. I'm tired of it. And Peter has a great group of girls, like so many pretty, beautiful, nice, accomplished women that deserve their chance. And as long as Hannah is still in the picture, they don't have a chance, in my opinion. That's kind of how I feel. But I guess we'll see next week. Um, please tell me what you guys thought of the episode. Um, and let me know what else you'd like me to talk about next week. Um, this has been a lot of fun. I'm really excited to share this whole season with you all. Um, this video is a day late. I'm, this will be posted on Wednesday. But I do plan on having them all posted on Tuesdays. Um, I just was really tired after that three-hour episode last night, and it wasn't happening. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you stayed this whole time, um, congratulations. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, let's have a good season. Let's have fun. Let me know what you want to see. Um, I'll put my social media down below, um, and I'll see you next time.